Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I would like to show you guys how to add a drop shadow really easily to your image. So over here as you guys can see I've shot this person in a studio on a white wall and we do have a little bit of a soft shadow here at the bottom but I would like to create actually a really hard shadow falling here to the back onto the white wall. Alright so let's get started with that. First of all I'm on my original layer over here. I'm going to drag my original layer to the new layer icon and create a duplicate and I'm going to just write here shadow okay so we got the shadow layer now and now what I want to do is go over and select the person and create a selection around the person I can obviously use the pen tool for that or I could also use my quick selection tool from the quick selection menu here okay so select that I'm going to go now over the person and just select the complete person with my quick selection tool Okay, and we're going to fade all over here and on this side. Photoshop is rendering that. Okay, now we've got a little bit too much, so I'm going to press Alt to get into the minus mode and just deselect this area over here. I did not want to add this area over here. Okay, and a little bit more over here from the leg again. Obviously, doing your selection right the first time would be better. Okay, so now we've got our complete selection around our person. So first of all, what we're going to do is create a mask with this shadow layer. So let's go over here and select our mask down here, and we have our mask out. We've comped our complete person out of the mask. It's not a perfect mask, but it works quickly for this tutorial. Alright, put on the original layer again and also back to shadow and now we're going to do the same effect once over again. So again, back to our quick selection tool over here and we're going to go over our complete person once again. Select the complete person over here and it's right leg as well. Okay, so Photoshop has rendered that. At the bottom here we still have a little bit of a bugger so we need to go over that once more. A little bit more. Okay, we've got that. And now what we're going to do is create a shadow layer. So first of all, what I want to do is go over to my new layer icon and just create a new layer here. So create a new layer and we have still a selection around our person. We can now go over to our marking tool over here, select the marking tool, go back to our person, press right click, go to fill and we're going to fill this content now with a 100% black. Okay, so opacity 100 as well and a black foreground color. So select that. Okay. And now we've already created a shadow mask. Okay, so press Command D, get out of that selection. And now what we want to do is basically drag, or first of all, just rename our layer here to shadow. I'm going to write the shadow layer. Okay. And now what we want to do is take the shadow layer, move it underneath of our mask. So let's maybe double click on here and just write mask, shadow. Okay. And now what we're going to do is with our shadow layer, we're going to press Command T to transform that shadow and place that somewhere here on the bottom. Okay, so let's go over here back to our transforming box and over here you see these small squares that are also anchor points and I can now take these anchor points and move them individually into the area where I want to. If I press command, as you will see now over here we have these two arrows. If I press command I get a white big arrow which basically means I can now move this box individually. So let's do that. Press command and then down here I'm going to drag my shadow and as you guys already see the shadow starts falling and distorts completely. This is okay, we want this. Then we're also going to take the other side over here at the top and also press command again and we're also going to move our shadow down somewhere over here. This does take a lot of playing and also a bit of practice until you get it right. Then take our box over here, move that over there this one over here and I'm also going to take this one again on the left hand corner here right hand and I'm just going to play a little bit move my complete shadow a little bit the complete selection and again I'm quite looking a lot at the feet here just to have a little bit of a orientation where I want to move this then also a little bit back and also press command again move my other shadow feet down here a little bit move that a little bit up and then obviously as much as you want you can move this around and also play with this a little bit. I'm quite happy with this now so I'm going to accept this from the top here. So select that, OK, we're going to accept that and already we have a complete hard shadow over here. Now first option again on our shadow layer is we can take our opacity down all the way. Say for instance I'm going to take it to 50% just to make it a little bit lighter. 
but I would also like to feather my edges a little bit on this. I could have either done that via using the selection tool while I was still creating the selection or now in the shadow layer go up to filter, blur and add a Gaussian blur to this. So which I'm going to do. Now around 40% let's quickly have a look 31, 40, 30, I'm going to choose 40% and add a Gaussian Blur at around 40% to the shadow. Say OK over here and we directly have now a soft shadow behind our person. So this is still not so perfect over here. I'm going to go back to my mask layer and just refine my mask a little bit over here and at the bottom. So let's go over to a navigator and just zoom in a little bit closer over here and it looks about fine but I'm still going to take my mask tool over here and also my brush again with B brush and I'm just going to paint in a little bit of the leg here. Okay, if we paint it too much we can obviously see that the background is coming through again. So go step back in your history panel over here and one more. Okay, we're just going to make this a little bit refiner, okay, and also down here with our shoe, we're just going to paint out the shoe a little bit, okay, just to make the mask a little bit more clean. Okay, let's zoom out of this again, and now what we're going to do is also make the shadow look a little bit better here on the leg. So let's create a new layer, and we're going to rename this to our fill shadow. So double here, fill shadow, okay, accept that. We're going to go over to our brush again, which we have already. We're going to change our opacity from the brush to around 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. 0 0.2 over here or just 2. And then also I'm working with the Vacuum Continuous 4 board. I can change my brush size really quickly via my wheel. Otherwise go up here to the top and change it here. Or press Ctrl Alt together. Move left and right to space or to make your brush smaller or bigger and also up and down to feather this brush. I'm just going to press double zero quickly to so that you guys can at least see what I'm doing. I'm going to take my brush and make it completely feathered so it's all the way, no hardness at all and I'm going to change my size all the way down to around say 22 pixels around there. Okay, then again with my navigator zoom in really closely onto the foot down here and now we're obviously working underneath of our mask so now we're able to add some drop shadow underneath of the shoe. So what I'm going to do now with opacity of 0.2 again I'm just going to paint really roughly down here a little a few times underneath of the shoe. I'm also going to make this up to a, say a 10% just to add a really hot shadow underneath of this and a little bit more okay so as you guys can see also this shadow is completely dark over here so we can actually add way more shadow underneath of this foot this is obviously I'm doing this really quickly for the tutorial now like I said you need to do this very carefully and more with more time okay and over here and then I'm also going to change my opacity down to 0.2 again zoom out a little bit and now just going to fill this shadow over here a little bit so make my brush a little bit bigger, going to zoom out a little bit more, okay, take my brush and just feather this and just darken this a little bit more over here especially, okay, because I want to have the shadow going a little bit darker from the beginning to a little bit lighter shadow. Obviously the shadow is closer to the person here so it would be a bit more darker than at the back. The same over here, I'm also going to darken it a little bit until to the end of the legs over here and just a little bit more. Okay, fade one big stroke over it so it just matches a little bit better. Okay, now we're going to zoom out. That looks about right to me now. The last step that I'm still going to do now is just refine that shadow completely. So I'm going to go to my shadow layer again, double click on here to get into the layer styles and now what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of a gradient overlay to the shadow. So select Gradient Overlay over here and directly you can see what happened to our shadow. It's way too hot. So let's select the Gradient Overlay and in here first of all change our opacity. So let's take that down a little bit. Okay, like that. Okay, around to 50%. Then also I'm going to change my angle just a little bit over to around 130% or 130 degrees over here. 133, that's alright. And I'm pretty happy with this. Maybe take my opacity just down a little bit more to 40%. That's okay. So I'm going to select OK over here. Move that back into the center. And I'm still not too happy with the added fill shadow here. So I'm going to go back to fill shadow. 
and just take that again down another say to 80 percent over here and that looks about right okay so last step that i'm still going to do is take my shadow layer press shift fill layer and shadow layer over here press command g put that all together in a group and i'm just going to write here once more shadow group okay so that is our quick tutorial let's have a look this is our before and after before and after and if you still feel like it you can still take your shadow group and also again take the opacity down completely and also still change this so over here again our before and after before and after okay so that's my quick tutorial for this week thank you guys for watching if you still have any questions please feel free to write me to team at manyphotography.co.za happy to help you with your questions thank you guys again for watching and hope to see you in my next tutorial bye bye